Okay, I'm sorry. It was like two in the morning or something. Um, and I went on TikTok to see like if I could see anything that was going on. And uh, it seems like so many. Uh, it's so weird when you see some of these people still so invested in the vote. Like, oh my gosh. I, I, and, and on top of that, some of these people, like um, the one I keep talking about with the fiery head and the bold glamour filter that really I don't know her attitude is just so condescending and hateful and divisive and just so arrogant like down on the people who don't agree with her or don't see what she sees I'm just like dude Fuck, you know how much stuff I see you don't see? I know, uh, it's just like, oh my gosh. Maybe I do go out and say a bunch of stuff just like, it is astounding. I, I don't know, maybe I am being, come across as really judgmental and hateful and condescending and arrogant too. Fuck, I don't know. Um, I just saw this girl really, really, really pretty black girl. She has this long, beautiful, really curly hair. She's really, really pretty. And, um, she was saying that she was struggling. You know, she keeps doing all of her spiritual stuff and stuff, but she keeps getting so angry. And she's like, I feel like I'm just supposed to let this anger out. I feel like I'm supposed to speak my truth and say what is bothering me. And whoo, she let loose, boy. And it was all against her own people. And there's another guy who's been doing that for a while. He always wears this funny little uh, hat that also has gloves, like a little animal hat on top of his head. And, um, and he's always calling out the bullshit on his own people. Like, this is disgusting. This is trashy. This is, you know. And that's what she was like. Oh, my God. I'm not going to agree with you just because we share the same skin tone. It is no. Like, she was like, uh, uh, just the violence and hate and stuff and uh, men and not helping their own communities and women just being so, like, it is. It's bothering a lot more women than just me. It, it's, I think it's part of the awakening and the, the uncomfortable of seeing some of this stuff. But the thing is, is like, we're uncomfortable seeing it, but the people who are showing us, they are going to be real uncomfortable in a few because they showed it. That's the thing. Just like when I see this lady losing her mind all the time and just being so hateful and just so condescending. And, and then to be hung up so much on the boat and shit like that. And, uh, it just she's very on the politics the government and all of that stuff but i had seen one who was it it was some content creator and i thought oh okay so it's gonna start flipping because the things that they were on that they were saying and stuff that um now that is being where they can't deny it so things that they were standing up for or thought or whatever, now it's all like kind of blowing up in their face, but it still takes time. Like this woman's locked in. And so I don't, I don't know, you know, I see a lot more people kind of humble themselves, but I don't know. What gets me is just because before she put on the bold glamour thing, she just kind of showed this like angry, like her face really represented it to me her 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 attitude and it just seemed like she just is full of anger and madness and just I don't know <coughs> it's hurting my throat though but then um what was it it might have even been something on the boat thing where you know the machines were going down like everybody's like get out there and do that because I have people come on my things you better get out there and do that no, I'm not going to play their games. Like going out there and oh, they're going to give you this option. No, I'm going to choose the option you're not giving me. Because I don't give a fuck what you're giving me. Because I don't want to participate in your little fucking weirdo world. I'm going to vote in somebody who, oh, this person's going to stand. No, fuck off. I'm, not, I'm done with it. I, you know, I'll find a community that doesn't, yeah, that's some bullshit.
And it is so much of the attachment that people have. They need somebody to tell them. They all need to go in together. They need the government oversight. They need the government to take care of them, watch over them. And let me see what he's eating. Oh, that dog is just always into... Even when I'm trying to sleep on the couch, he decides that... Oh, in the, this morning, it was like he wasn't even down my feet. No, now he's just coming up the side, taking up the whole side. It's like, dude... He, just a second ago, right when I was about to start, he sees up going around doing his hyper thing. He went and got into Stella's bed with her, and she sits up and she looks at me. <laughs> I'm just like, like what the jerks he fucking do me all night? It's like all over me all goddamn night. And I've got a tiny little space. And, um, anyways, let me think. Um, because I love people who. Like the women and to just sell themselves out. Like even that girl who was talking and whatever in their community is just, she said she's heard the most disgusting, disgusting thing she's ever heard. The girls will do for money. And she was just like disgusted. Like it, it, the same thing of like with people like what you will do for money. Like how is money so fucking important? You lower your whole fucking uh, I don't know. It, maybe some people just don't have that in them. Like it doesn't bother them to to sell their soul to not, you know. I I don't know. It's weird. You'd have to really be cut off to feel nothing when you do stupid ass shit because your soul's gonna fucking tell you it's gonna fucking. Uh, that's why people go and drink and stuff to shut it up, so they don't have to face themselves. So, I don't, I don't know. Everything is so whacked out right now. It's just like, fuck, well, how are these people just so disconnected from themselves? But however it's going to go, it's going to break, blow up. Like, you know, I, I fucking don't know. It's crazy now. It's Wednesday. It's like, fuck. It just gets more and more intense. And I saw another guy who was sharing about all of those things. They're still strapped up. In New York, to all of those poles, they're still out there strapped up. And they've got markings on them. So I would think for people who are looking for certain things, they'll be easy to find. They've got to have some date. There's got to be some date that they plan on doing something. Because there's just so many events that go on that they just skip. Like, yeah, we don't need to worry about that. We got something coming. I, I don't know. Especially the way they're going around in all these explosive disappearing everywhere i just think something and who knows what day it's gonna be or if it's gonna be at night or what it's supposedly yeah the fifth the quantum system started and deposits won't go in and the um it's just the money thing is just separated so the money is going in a uh non-corrupt direction that leads us to freedom and then the money that it, that we're still um dealing with with the banks and stuff that's the one that's going away and so but it has to be exposed because so many people are so dependent on it so there's so many people have to go through this losing their stuff and i've seen lots of videos like oh, you know all my money's gone my check's gone and um and, you know, there's lots of people talking about the money thing. It seemed like that the voting thing was overriding everything yesterday because all these people kept talking about going out and doing that. And they were trying and machines were going down. It was just constant bullshit. And that's where I was like, maybe it was one of them that was going and they were running into stuff. And they're like, it, it clicked or something. It's like, how many times are you going to do the same thing before it clicks? Well, I mean, I'm not one to judge. Like, fuck. I got married, got married, got married, kept trying to have these relationships, kept thinking that well, it's it's this other person. Certainly not me. It's this other person. If I'm with this other person, it'll be, be it'll be better. My relationship will be better. And you get together with them and it's worse and worse and worse and worse. It's like, oh my gosh. But, you know, it's just weird because it is... 
So many people can turn the blame on other things. Like, I could have turned the blame on something else. I could have kept going. It was just the universe said, no, you're going to face what you're doing. <laughs> because you keep doing the same stupid shit. And it affected me. And the last one. And it's like they, it's like that they know what's going to hurt the worst or something. But I had to keep going, you know. Uh, to the point, like, fuck, I have a brain injury and lose everything. But, I mean, that's what's going on in this world right now. Everybody's having things that they have to deal with. Medical things, losing all their things, having to reevaluate their whole lives. Because it's the time. And I think it's kind of like in your soul. In your soul, in this reevaluation. Because when you see this lady, it's just like, some of these people, it's just like, you know, I mean, that's fine. I mean, they're trying to do something good. They think they're doing something good. So, um, I, you know, I don't know. It, it, it's got to play out. And everybody's got to see for themselves. Like, all of us. We all have to see it for ourselves. But people like who are, you know, because it's not like she's a bad person or something. I mean, she's really trying to do something good. She's really trying to get out there and speak up and, you know, um, which a lot of people don't. It's just that so many people, they just, they just go straight on a fear and then they just, just keep spinning around and spinning around and trying to convince everybody else why we all need to be scared of what they're scared of. It's like, I can't be scared of any of this stuff because I'm, I'm on a different level. And it's not like a mean, mad, or, you know, like I'm better than you. It's just like, I don't see life the same way as you. I see it way, way different. And so, yeah, I'm not going to go around getting caught up in everybody else's stuff. And I saw this other lady. I thought she explained it really good, too. Because she was speaking to, like, you know, you new age spiritual people, you love and light people and stuff. And, um, whatever she was saying, it was the same stuff I say. She's like, you have to see the darkness. You have to face your fears. That's what's, that's, and the spiritual thing isn't about having someone else tell you what to do and how to live. The spiritual thing is for you, the individual, to break down everything that controls your mind. Like I said, religion is a huge one. It's still fucking going. And I did that one way back when I was 18. I started on that journey of breaking free from what other people believed and controlled them. It's just this constant breaking free to independence. And then when you go through it, though, you know, you have different groups that want to hold you back. There's, you know, like I think that there's a lot of darker people who are being held back by their group. I think also with the blue people, I think there's a lot of groups where they think, like they can let go of, you know, oh, we have the flag in common, but, you know, they don't agree with me on this and they don't agree with me on that. So those parts can fall apart. But then when it gets down to, it's like another level or something, another layer to it. And so then when you get to, it's like, because it's not your family. It's like your culture. But see us white folk. Like us orphan child stork delivered cabbage patch kid people. That you know they took away culture from us. So I, I mean it's crazy when I see these people all preparing for Thanksgiving and Christmas. And just finished up with the fucking Halloween. And they're always dropping their birthdays and stuff in there. It's like fuck. I let go of all that shit. And, um, and, you know, it's a fake culture. It's a fake thing that they try to create for us so that we would all be, you know, like pacify us with some fucking uh, holidays and tell us that that's our culture. That's our, you know, all the holidays revolve around consumerism and, you know, and guilt. I mean, how many people fucking feel guilty and shitty because they can't give their kids everything that some other person does? It's just a competitive uh, consumerism. It's and it, and it has the same sense, too, as like the Bible, where it has all this negative shit, but people keep trying to push it on you. It's the same thing with the fucking holidays. 
It's like you're, you're trying to override it and keep saying, oh, this is about Jesus' birthday. Uh, as you're just out shopping and punching people out to get a fucking cheap TV and shit. It's like, it's, I don't think it's about Jesus' birthday. I think you guys are just convince yourself another reason to go shopping. Another reason to just mindlessly spend. Guilt ridden. But what's religion built on? Guilt. Like you, you can't even like yourself. You have to fear yourself. You're going to go burn in hell forever if you even act like yourself. You got to completely conform to this hateful, judgmental person and stuff. Just plus, plus being so ignorant to your own stuff to just be like, well, it's like if they think, well, because what got me was that one day when I was driving with my mom and we were already talking about the rapture. She's the one even starting it, not me. I wasn't fucking bringing this shit up. She was fucking on this and she was so excited. This was before the one date. I think a date went by that they all thought they were gonna be raptured out. Maybe it was September 19th or something. I don't remember, but it seems that there was a date you know, there was a lot of them that were getting all cocky and, you know, they are going to be raptured and all us stupid ass fucking people who don't love Jesus. We're just, good luck to you, burning hell forever. It's just like, God damn, what a fucking attitude, man. This is something I tried to point out ever since I was a kid. I'm not kidding how much I tried to point that out. And, um, so we were driving and, um, she had brought it up because she wanted to make sure that when she was raptured, that I told everybody that Jesus took her, not a spaceship. That was very, that's why she brought it up. She wanted to make sure that when she was raptured, that I said she went with Jesus and not on a spaceship. It did start a conversation. Conversations are never like, they're always but you know but we can you know throw in a white flag and call it good and just be like yeah you're not gonna change my mind and i'm not gonna change yours so what's the point because there's no fucking way i didn't fucking go this direction 40 some years ago and now all of a sudden it's like oh now the world's ending so jesus save me jesus save me no fuck off with the shit and um so uh but what, what, what it got me was uh that when we were driving that day and there was uh, uh and hers is a state highway too she lives out at a lake and so she has a state highway she has to drive to get into town and a state highway is just um a two-lane uh road it's just like a road but it's super high speed it's like 55 and there's not a lot of how well there's still houses and stuff as you go but it's not like you're driving through a neighborhood although it is kind of like a neighborhood because i've lived on one of these busy ass streets before and that was going super fast and and people wrecked in our yard all the time oh yeah i wanted to tell about that it was weird the synchronicities is that's another thing people are talking about the synchronicities in their life are crazy even the one lady kept talking about steve she's all in now i kept going in and commenting about spiritual stuff on her thing and i don't know how many other people were i wasn't reading the comments i would just do mine and she would answer my comments sometimes and i'll comment back and I would always be like, I'm just really excited just sharing this story because it really opens people's minds. This place is magic. It's not what they told you it was. And so she's going through all these synchronicities and these things and following the signs and stuff. It's really cool. And there's more people doing that. There's more people that's like, oh my God, this weird shit keeps happening because that's, you know, the real world is making itself present. It's making itself known to you. And, um... Okay, yeah, let me think. Because I'm going off from the other thing. I was, um... Okay, I'm gonna go over there. I'm gonna go over here. Because the... Um, I have a bunch of things going through my head. Let me try and catch on where I was. What I was talking about, because I didn't finish it. Um, something... I keep having a head come into my head. <laughs> keep having a head come into my head. Um, uh, okay. I don't know. I'll have to 
see if it circles back to that. Um, I mean, this was the synchronicity thing because the um, this other lady, hers was so I, I kind of wasn't quite sure because it seemed that she was saying in the first story that her kids or something because I thought she and her kids were standing in her front yard and then somebody said let's go in the backyard and that they did but then all of a sudden she was laying on the couch but that might have been the second because there was two wrecks the first one um and I was positive she was saying that they had just moved but there were so many synchronicities in the story that I think she wasn't as clear when it was starting or I wasn't paying close enough attention or something but it seemed like oh, she was in her front yard talking to the neighbor and her kids were there. And then they turned to go in the backyard. And a couple minutes later, somebody crashed right through where they were. So a truck came barreling through, crashed where they were, went over and hit into the house across the street. And the guy died. And he had a heart attack. And that's why he crashed. And the house was okay. But the, um, the guy died and his car was all crunched up and stuff. But the guy died. And so then, no, I don't even know if his car was crunched. She said, I think she said it seemed like, a, you know, it wasn't that much damage, but he died. And so then she said that, um, then there was another one. And, uh, but in between, she had gone somewhere because she was having all these weird number things and stuff. It was a bunch of synchronicities. It was really cool. I, I like it when I hear people paying attention to this stuff. And then uh, another one came and crashed, only this guy was having a seizure. So he didn't die and he crashed in the same house, in the same place, which made me think like, is it a certain corner? But she was shocked. She was just like, this is so weird. This, this car wrecks right in the same house. But the second one, when the guy didn't die, the whole house was crunched. She said, I was just crunch everything was just crunched and destroyed so she's like it's so weird so in one there was no loss except for the life in the next one there was no loss of life but all of the material so it was crunched it's just like it's so weird and then she was going with more synchronicities and more things and i think everybody's got to get into these paying attention but uh and watching the synchronicities and the signs and the numbers and and it will be, to me, what I've always seen and what I see other people saying is like you hear something in your head and then you'll hear it or your eyes will be drawn to something that it is like a confirmation. It's like there's constant confirmation going around. Like you really have some group that is always trying to lead you through the game. Like think about it like if we're in a video game. Because we're in a video game essentially to our understanding of what a video game is that this is the most representative of how we live our lives is most representative to a video game which doesn't surprise me then that we would come and invent video games because it's so similar to what is real life and so the and then even the creating the avatar and um so the so when you're in the game so you, you birthed into the game so you're created the avatar is created and it's uh it's cool because it's created as energy but it's also created through someone who's already there you're birthed into the reality i just think that's a really cool part you know because when we when you, you'll see when we start traveling around when we start, when the firmament is bust free, when we're freed from our containment, you'll see, like, you, you just go around. You have to be birthed into every reality. Like, this, this is different, being birthed in like that. I'm sure that there's other ones, but you don't just, like, become out of a rock or something. You're birthed into other ones, but it would be in all different ways, too. But, like, we're going to be able to go around after this because we've burst into this. But then there's all this change that's going to happen. Then once the firmament's loose or gone, then we're going to be able to just travel around. It's all going to be based on you, your vibration, not any other containment. Your vibration would be your passport. And not weird, too, how they try to make these social passports. 
And they are always trying to control our morals. Oh yeah, because my mom on that rut, on that thing. So we were driving down the thing and uh, no, I was in the passenger. I was thinking, was I driving? Maybe I was. Man, that's weird when you try and look into something and it's like, uh, it seems like I was in the passenger thing, but I feel like I was slowing down so the quails could cross. So it's weird. It's like I can see myself in both positions. But um, if I was in the passenger and she slowed down for the quails and so all the quails are going across the road and there's another guy coming towards us and he just starts speeding up. Like he just fucking run over him. He didn't give a fuck. And so then I said, I brought it up then because then I said, that's the kind of people I think are going to rapture out. And that trigger is in, she's like, oh, what? You're trying to say you don't have sin? Like, people don't have sin? That is, that's what Jesus accepts, that you are a sinner. You got, everybody's a sinner. It's the whole conversation, it was like, I, I've decided now what Satan really is. It's an excuse. It's everybody's excuse. Oh, Satan. Satan is a, the devil. It's, uh, you know, all these dark devils. They're the ones making me do it. It's like everybody's got to use an excuse. You have fucking free will. You have an awareness that you're ignoring. Everybody's got it. So many people ignore it. And that's why this is like the the, um, the universe is hollering out. And oh, that's what I was going to say. Because so in the game, when you go in, um, you got to think of it as kind of like how I see it is everything is dark and you, just you lights up. But in the darkness, you have all this stuff that you can't see who's guiding you who's directing you so it's kind of like you're blind it's like a blind person is being directed but the blind person doesn't listen they're trying to focus on what they think so that they follow what seems like what they should be doing but it is really they're blind because it is that they're not hearing the, the it's, it's weird. It's like, I don't know how to explain it, but maybe you're getting it kind of like what, what I'm saying. Because it's kind of like you're, you're birthed in and you're blind. That you have this vision of the board. And, but you, but you don't see. But you have all these people around you who are cheering you on and trying to direct you. Oh, wait, don't go that way. Go this way. And stuff. So they're there all the time, like cheering you on, trying to direct you, dropping signs, dropping breadcrumbs. And, but when you're not tuned into that, it's like you're completely blind to all this part. You've left out this whole part of life. And then you're super hyper focused on this. And then this part, that's, that's the game part. So that's the part where it's always going to feel like a fuck up. It's always it's never going to go right. It's always where it's going to leave you feeling confused all the time. That's godless to me. That's like not listening to your soul, not listening to what you're really doing here. And it's weird. It's so weird how on these levels, how I can see this stuff. Cause I, I'm telling you, I don't, I, I can't even explain it on how like uh, the level I see it. it, but it's very, uh, it's just very much there's so many people going around with it's weird too it's like morally bankrupt empty pockets but then they keep trying to fill them up with this game money to make themselves feel better but they're morally bankrupt and you can fill your pockets full of as much monopoly money as you want it's still not gonna make you feel good on the inside because you gotta work on the inside the inside is what matters. The inside is who you are. Everything outside of that isn't. That's who you pretend to be, who you're trying to be, who you're trying to please other people to be. And that is such a big part, too. I think that is an important part for everybody in, uh, in their own selves is to constantly question themselves, 
on the people pleasing because you're putting yourself aside to please somebody else. But you got to catch yourself. You got to constantly be asking yourself, you know, why am I doing this? Who am I trying to please? Who am I doing this for? What am I trying to get? It's just to me, it's just like a lot of slowing down and asking yourself questions. Don't just be, you know, um, reactive, trigger happy, reactive, just like, oh, got one coming back at you real quick, you know, take more time and slow down and uh, think and stuff. But oh, it's just weird how like on the religion, it's just like, we're all sinners and we need to admit it. If we don't all admit we're sinners, like, yeah, everybody carries sin. Everybody has dark and light inside of them. Is every soul has to find the balance of the dark and light. What was that one too? Because I saw this other one this, uh, yesterday. And this girl, she was saying about uh, some of the people it, it, there's a lot of people who are just really honest that there's a lot of people who don't have a soul. There's lots of people who think that people are just going around with no soul. Well, I don't understand what people think a soul is. It's like the energy that key, how would they how would they be going around? How would they be walking? How would they be talking? How would they be doing anything if there's no energy that's powering them? It's a, it's dependent on the consciousness of the energy that is powering them and what they're here to learn, what they're here to grow, what parts they're here to play, how cut off they are from their own selves. And to me, that's a big part of the game because so many people are cut off from their own selves and don't realize that they're a spirit. And I mean, it's just weird. I mean, it's very much like putting your own self down kind of really. Yeah, I don't know if you can hear me or still, still snoring. She's, maybe she's in a dream. Um, but the, um, oh God, let me think what I was saying. Um, the dream stick of man. Okay. So the people, um, oh my God. <sighs> okay. So, um, I'm going to go back to the shit that's going on <laughs> is um so my daughter's deposit should go in today so i'm gonna hear because i uh everything i'm hearing this is it's already started this is it they're all gonna nobody's deposits are gonna go in nobody's deposits are gonna go in there's uh, people who are freaking the fuck out because they can't make their mortgage payment there's one big company that won't let anybody make their payment and this, all these people are freaking out. It's like, uh, well, the banks go down. Where did your loan go? Why do you think you owe the bank any money? And they're gone. They took your loan with them. They're not, they can't leave the loan here. We're gonna we we are gonna close up shop, but we're gonna leave this here. You know, maybe just send us some money in the mail so we don't starve or something. Like, no, the banks uh, the banks are being arrested and shit. Banks are the, the bankers. There's so many corrupt people that were doing corrupt shit. And just because everybody else around them was doing corrupt shit, they thought it was okay, no big deal. It's like, well, you probably should have gotten a little bit closer to your soul, because then you would have known. Like, nope. Your soul will definitely tell you. It'll let you make the mistakes. Always, it'll let you make the mistakes. It's, uh, it's the aftermath that's the hardest. It's facing yourself, you know. And that's why so many of these people, I'm telling you. And then you see how ego-driven and stuff they are. It's like, fuck, man. When it turns in on them, oh, my God. And there's a lot of people who keep saying they're leaving TikTok. And there's something going on with TikTok, too. They keep taking down my videos, for one thing. Um, but it, they keep doing it on lots of people. I keep hearing tons of people. Like, they're taking down all my videos all the time. And um, But so now they've done something. Because the people who were all into the creator thing. So there's all these people out there, like I said, who were trying to make money off of TikTok. And so... I saw somebody doing this whole ex explanation. So before it was always YouTube, you could make the most money but you know they just pretend like mine's not even nothing 
and it's met all their stuff. It's gone past all their stuff, way far, way past, and they just, you know, uh, that's what you get when you're a censored account, which I don't know. I mean, I'm not going to go and if, if all they want to do is add on commercials or something, like I'm not going to do that. So I don't know. They just don't, they just pretend like I don't even exist unless they're censoring me. But anyway, so all these people went on TikTok and they wanted to, you know, monetize and stuff like that, like YouTube. And so like, I don't know what the fuck TikTok started because I had heard a long time ago that TikTok, that the people were on their, you know, that their accounts, they'd made like a couple cents or something. They weren't making money off of it because of how it was set up. So then they changed it and started this creator thing, but this creator thing was that they made all the money. Like what I kept saying, it's like they make all the money and the people get a, a little, uh, you know, like throw the crumbs out for the actual content creator. So TikTok had it set up that they were making all the money. So, and they keep, you know, taking tons of people's accounts uh, down and taking tons of people's videos down and so then the creator tools went down so there's all these people complaining about that, that they could no longer do this they can no longer go live they can no longer there's all this stuff coming up and all these people talking about why would the create like it was, i was hearing it on all different sides some of the people who weren't doing the creator thing some people who were i just saw all these people talking about it and then this one guy he went and explained it and said this new thing that they're doing this new business thing that they're doing a new creator tool thing or something that they're turning it now where the people can start making a lot of money so that to me is the um like the white hats came in and dismantled the bad stuff and now they're turning it so the people can actually get something for the work they put in so the people who are out there you know putting Fuck, I doubt it's gonna affect me. I haven't done any of their creator tools and shit. I, and they keep. It's weird how all of a sudden this week I got a couple. Like when you go months and months and months, and you don't get any followers, at all, and you just get a couple views. It was a couple hundred views. It's so funny too, is because now I see these other people start complaining about it. There's no fucking way. And this one is the uh, the lady with the bold glamour. A thing. There's no fucking way that she has 50,000 followers and she's getting 200 views. That's some bullshit. Like, what is going on? And it's like, that's what I've been saying for a long while. It's like, it, but there's a lot of people who are getting that now, too. And so, you know, I, I don't know how they're going to do the thing. I'm Hopefully, that they're going to do it so that people who are out there trying to make content and get good information out there but see it's gonna also it's it's a trend you gotta see too in the trend in our society so the trend in our society right now is i don't know one trend is just ignorance just go about your life like nothing's going on and make the best of it another one is hyper focused on everything that scares them and and this arrogance and stuff but it's like this it's a trend it's like, what are those accounts going to do when, when things break free? Like, if you've spent three years dedicating every moment to, to tell about government shit, maybe that's going to be something they're going to get in their packet. I don't know. But what is going to be your future? Like, what are, you know, maybe they're going to get a huge packet that's going to pay them for all of their work they did because they were out there exposing things and getting people to talk and stuff. Because like I said, they their role's important. It's annoying, but it's important. It's annoying to see people just keep saying the same shit and just like, it's, it's wacky, man. And some of them are even going deeper in on some of this stuff where it's just like, oh my God, go the other way. <laughs> but, <coughs> but they don't. <coughs> they go the um they just lock in deeper to their um whatever it is they think and and it's weird too because so many of them are the ones out there telling people look it up look it up um so if tiktok does that and makes it where the people can start 
having their business just doing content creator. But that will be a trend. It'll be what people are looking for in the future. So I would say that the, the people who would make it, like nobody's going to go in after all this and sit and listen to someone talk about the government. And everybody's going to be like, no. It's going to be like, I got my shit together. It's going to be, it's going to be a thing that's going to switch. And then, um, it would be more of people who are, t are, are helping people to get out of their rut, to move them towards independence in a lot of different ways. It can be in business, people talking about how to become independent, um, how to, is setting up barter. Like I've seen those cool things where people have set up those gifting websites or something where you just take what you need and you just get it's like this it's kind of like bartering but bartering is more well i'll do this well i'll do that you know it's more of a going back and forth this is just like well i need this and i have this i can give and so i'll give this but i need that and so you get to take what you need but you just give something so somebody else can come in and get it so it's just a shifting around i don't need this anymore so i'll give it to somebody who does and a whole thing of that so you know, people who are, there's a lot of people who are very innovative right now, but we're in the trend of, um, of the exposing. So we have all these people out there who are talking about all that stuff. And then you get to watch them, you know, as light bulbs come on, wait a minute, you know, maybe there's something like this voting thing is tricking us. Like, I'm like, like you, so you get to watch them all like light bulbs coming on for them. And, um, and then there's still so much fighting, like, oh my gosh. Even if somebody goes against something, you know, you'll get totally attacked by these groups. So it's very intense on all of that stuff. It's, but it's still a trend. It's still temporary. It's to go, it's to show us, it's to get us to a certain place. Then when we get to that place, so all the people who put all their energy into that, then, you know, were they setting anything else up? Were they planning for the future? Or were they just so focused, hyper-focused on fear and making sure we don't go to the FEMA camps that they didn't think about anything else? Well, thinking about, like, what am I going to do? Like, I mean, because they're not even thinking about anything about the, the Jubilee, about uh, independence or anything like that. They're just thinking, you know, we got to get this guy in the for president. We got to point this out and like it's it's crazy and they're so god they're just so rude <laughs> but they feel justified like they they have the right to be rude and so then well, she's on the move what are, are we 42 minutes it's already starting oh no she's just gonna turn around she's just uncomfortable she's just been so so active having him oh my gosh and now she's got her yesterday they were running out to the fence and barking like crazy and it was like, oh, this is just makes Stella so happy. But I know the neighbor is not happy. Because I think they started at barking at them with their dog. Because their dog comes out. And so <laughs> dogs all get si excited to see the other dogs. That When that guy goes out and walks it. When his kids go out and walk it. Or I think some of their kids show up at their house. I'm not sure of their whole living situation. It's very active. A lot of people going. But they'll go out and walk the dogs sometimes. And they don't get bothered if my dogs bark, but the guy does. He gets mad. He even started going the other way. He wouldn't even walk past my house. He did one day, but um, he, but he stopped. He started going the other way because he gets so mad. I don't even remember how I found that out. Maybe one of the times when he was yelling at me, he told me, like, he can't even walk peacefully past my house without my dogs barking. <laughs> like, dude. They're dogs. Like, what is wrong with you? Like, when the dogs come out and start barking at me when I'm walking, I'm always, hi, hi. I'm always talking to them. This guy's like, whoa, 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 dark at me. Whoa. It's like, dude, get more in the fucking groove of things, dude. And so, um, anyways, but so we have this, this energy that's going to be switching. So the trend will change towards, you know, like, I'm telling you, some of these people who are out there who, like this guy, he is, there's a bunch of these people. And they go to the thrift store, and this guy, he'll get blankets, he'll get curtains, he'll get, they'll get a tablecloth, all sorts of different fabrics. 
and um, some girls will go and get old clothes and then make them into new clothes. He'll go and get all sorts of like blankets and all sorts of stuff and make them into clothes. Total upcycle. And his stuff is nice. It's cute stuff. I mean, he's fucking total fashion design, independent fashion designer, this guy, and upcycle. And there's a bunch of those type people. Like those kinds of accounts, I think, will start taking off. People who talk to you about garden, I think those kinds of accounts will take off. People talking about health, how to, um, everything in that direction of how to feel better, how to make your life better is going to go in that direction. So everybody who's of that other energy, and I don't know how they'll transition. I think that they're going to hit a, a wall. I think when things flip, it's going to flip their lives upside down and they're going to go into a deep depression and have to face themselves and but these other accounts that have just been out there kind of struggling stuff so they'll take off and so in uh so it's kind of like the people who are talking about being uh um talking about these tools and making the money and stuff off of these things it's kind of like their accounts will be the ones that will be gone but these other accounts will be the ones who will benefit from it because it's the changing of the energies you got to think about what does the universe want like I don't think very many of these people ever think that. They don't ever consider what does the universe want. Like when I have people sit there and tell me something, it's like, well, that's the universe has got a different plan. The universe has its own things it does. You know, and that is, you know, a benefit of being spiritual for a long time. Is participating in the universe in a different way, paying attention, listening, following the breadcrumbs listening to the whispers, following um, your desires, knowing that the, the people that you come in contact are there to teach you. And uh, it's all you. It's you is the whole thing. It's your growth. It's what you do with your problems and who you become. It's your evolution. And so I, um, you know, there's a lot of things, a lot of concepts and shit I get. And I get how like I don't know when you participate with the universe you start picking up on how they work how it works and what they do it's the same thing that's like manifesting that's why manifesting becomes so much easier like I fucking figured out when I was a kid like I don't you, you gotta look at the, you gotta be going through the world thinking about the things you love like not just um you know, you don't have to go through life like, I love life, I love life, everything's great. No, that's mindless. You got to participate. You got to be real. You got to be true. You can't go through something and then somebody tell you, well, you can, that's, that doesn't matter. And then you go, oh, okay. No, you got to feel what you feel. You got to go through what you go through. You got to be strong and independent and stand up for your own journey. Your journey is your journey. Nobody can infringe on your journey. Nobody can tell you what you need to work on or how you need to grow or what you need to look at or anything. You, it, uh, for me, in this position, in observation of so much of this stuff, I can see where things are headed and stuff. But with the universe, you know, is so much about going around. You know, I, I'm telling you just about the things that you notice, like, I love that color. I love that car. I love that. All the things. Just you register what you love. Just keep registering it. And that is, you will get the stuff back. It will it will give back the things that you love. But you have to show it. And then you have to, I don't know. It's kind of like, I feel like so many people like fight the universe. Like they fight it. Like, just these people who are these spiritual people now, these new super spirits that, um, I don't like to call them new age because that's what we were called back in 40 years ago. That's what they called us in the movies and everything. We were the new age people. And so I don't like to call these people new age people because these people are not following any spiritual path. They're just, I don't know. Um... Because the spiritual path is inside of you. And everything that they're doing is is outside. And it's all about this control and, you know, don't look at this and stuff. It's, it's just very different. So, um, 
Okay, let me think because there was something about that I was going to say. It's very different um, on their spiritual thing. Because <sighs> they, uh, you know, part of life, part of the experience that they say is bad, is negative, when it is necessary. You've got to have the dark and the light. Like all this stuff that we're going through right now on the planet is necessary. It's what creates change. And these super spirits that are trying to lead people into this new spiritual world that we're entering is um, they want you to ignore and pretend like it doesn't, you know, just go into la-la land. But also think about how many of those people are also the people who, you know, uh, get upset about misgendering and stuff like there's a lot of things that have to be worked out in some people's minds you know because that's like i said a long time ago i said a lot of the super spirits and these the spiritual movement is the progressive people there you have the one side that's all going for jesus and that's all based on fear and so divisive and so hateful and then you have the other ones and they're going towards spiritual because they're not going to be having a God tell them what to do. <laughs> um, and it's all on different levels and stuff. But there's so much about uh, this is bad. You know, don't don't think about negative. You got to focus on the light. You got to keep your vibration high. No, that's no, that is it, just on your vibration alone. It's going to go up and down. It's going to go back to where it was. It, it, you, But it's, it's fluctuating. You're steering. You're steering through life. And these people want you to just, I don't know, go on, uh, just ignore everything that you don't want to see. But you, the things that you need to see are the things that you learn from. Those are the, the things that they want you to ignore are the most impactful learning things that you have. And so it's like, where, where, where is God telling you to do this? Like, is the universe, like who's telling you to ignore half of your journey and to tell other people to? And so it's all like fear and control and ignorance. And so it's like both, both movements are carrying the same energy. It's so weird how both groups, they divide, but they both carry the same energy, it, but it keeps them divided. It's like, you gotta holster it up, dude, holster it up and fucking start, you know, taking down, putting the, put, putting the weapons away, man. Start listening instead of fucking throwing spears at people and you know, open your mind to other people's situations. And um, I just saw this thing, because there is a total splitting off too on the blues, just how all the different groups, all the different cultures, everything is, you have to define who you are. You are not your culture. You are not your group. You're not that group. You're not your family. You're not your brother. You're not your sister. Who are you? You have to figure out what that is. It's independent from everyone else. You can't please anyone else to be what they want you to be because then you're not you. And and so, you know, these spirit, that whole spiritual thing is just going to blow up. Uh, it's going to fucking, uh, both of these things, the religious thing, it's in the process of blowing up. Like, it's weird for how much stuff I see and then I'm sure my mom's not seeing any, but oh my gosh. Religion is fucking going to blow up for sure. There's so much stuff. And I, I just don't know how it's going to go with those people. Like if that is the rapture, I guess they could lose it so bad. And some of the spiritual people, like, yeah, they think that they're so much better than other people and they're chosen. If you want to be chosen, choose yourself. That's all it is. They go around... I'm chosen. I'm chosen. And all I hear is I chose myself. I decided that I was going to prioritize me and focus on me. That's your spiritual journey. That is you figuring out who you are, what you are. 
independent from what everybody else thinks. What everybody else tells you, you have to be. And that's you breaking free. That's your spiritual journey. That is you trying to find out who you are inside. Uh, it's the spiritual journey. It's not all this... Um, but it, it's just weird because so many people are waking up to the fact that there is a spirit. And then when they wake up to their own spirit, then they start seeing everybody else as a fucking NPC. They're not even real. I can't believe how many people I keep seeing saying that there's people out here who have no soul. They're just soulless beings out here. What? How? How? What? Oh, my gosh. I, I swear, sometimes I just hit into things that is just so frustrating. It's like, oh, my God, this is just so overwhelming. How? Um, their lights have to come on. People have to see some stuff for themselves because, you know, they just don't. They just don't see shit, man. So the lights have to come on because, like, I don't know. I, I, because the universe, you know, it's overwhelming. Like, I can't even fuck. Uh, God, that just all of a sudden was like a fucking giant pit opened up. <laughs> like, fuck. It's just so much. So much to be in a place where all these people have no clue where they are. <laughs> it's just, and they're all like fighting and arguing. And then the place keeps trying to reveal itself. And I don't know how some people see it and some people don't. It's all part of everybody's journey. But to think like, there's, th like, <laughs> there's things down here that are walking around, talking, moving. What is powering them? Like, I don't understand what people think a soul is. I, I don't even know it's so weird but to me like I said I came out of my body so I'm pretty sure once I separated from my body that's my soul and and then you go read other people in NDEs all the near-death experience books and stuff like that when they come out of their body that thing that they are is their soul so when I came out of mine, I was the exact same. It was everything was the same. I didn't feel like I looked different. I didn't feel like I walked different. I definitely didn't feel like I thought different. Everything was me. Everything was me. And when I looked back over at the bed and I saw my body laying there, it was just, it was like a, a shadow of a body. It was like, a, I mean, it looked like my body laying there. And then I realized, oh, well, I'm the shadow, but it was, um, but really, that's the shadow. That's, that's not real. The part of you that's real, the living part of you, the alive part of you is separate from that. And that powers that though. This has to have something that powers it. A body can't just get up and walk around by itself. Something has to energize it. Something has to give birth to it. So there's definitely souls inside of everybody's body. Everybody has a soul. However conscious it is, that's a whole nother thing. You know, you don't have to be conscious to come down and play this game. You can play this whole fucking game unconscious. And then you go into your evaluation and see how you did. And um, there could be people who are very happy with their unconscious game that they played. It's, it is it just, it's the people who are so judgmental and so hateful. They're just NPCs and stuff. It's like, okay, so if they're not as awake of you, and then to me, so many of these people, their awakening, their grand awakening is just right up ahead. This is, people are going in, and I think that's going to throw a big wrench in a lot of these people who have been out here, these people have no souls, these people this, these people that, and then this event happens, and all of a sudden, all these fucking shit goes down, and you see, you know, they all woke up, 
And then how are those people who are out there spreading hate and ignorance and telling everybody people don't have a soul and stuff and that they're so spiritual and you should listen to them. And it's like, you see, you see what I'm saying? When things turn, how you're going to see things so much different. And, uh, and the, those people are going to have to face their own stuff. Just like I will too. Like, I don't know, you know. I don't know what I'm going to have to face. I don't know what I'm going to see about myself. I know that I, you know, I know it's a lot easier to change this shit about yourself than when you very first start. Like, it's not going to burden me. Whatever I see, even if I see like, you know, I'm, I'm a total dick, you're condescending, you're judgmental. It'll be like, okay, well, work on that some more. I could be all upset and depressed and stuff. I already faced all that. I'm telling you, once you go through the burden of facing yourself, the the hardest face, it's the first time, the face-off, let's just call it that. So the dark night is the face-off. You face your soul, and you have to go through, you know, facing yourself, making decisions that you are ashamed of and sad about. And so when you get through that part, you know, the dark night, the face off, whatever, then it gets easier. It just gets easier and easier. Like if you're in that part, just remember it's temporary and to use it to your best, be, use your energy to really purge out and heal your stuff. Let go of stuff. Don't carry it on and don't keep it inside of you. It, it creates disease. It, you know, it'll make you feel like shit. So you got to release it. And it's hard though, because you got to face the sides of yourself that you were, you know, I don't know. I think it isn't, it's not like people pretend. It's more like that they do things with the information that they have at the time. But then as information, as you evolve, you get more information that makes you reevaluate who you were before. So you have to do these reevaluations. So you can let go. So you can grow into your next part of you. It's like stepping into your next self. But you got to let go of who you were. You got to let go of the, the things. Because you can't carry it into the next part. So it's just a lot of um, releasing and letting go. But man, there's so many of these people. Like every time I look up over there at those, that spiritual group. It is just... It's very toxic, this new spiritual, if you want to call it the, the new age of spirituality. Because uh, the old way was very different. It was, um, like to me, I always go back to the part of leaving the church. Like that was a big fucking thing. And I know it was a big thing because I experienced it. But then I also see all people doing it now and how hard it is. And uh, so... And, you know, and I wasn't just having people on fucking TikTok telling me they're going to pray for my salvation. No, I have my fucking mom on me all the time about Jesus. And uh, in any of my things that I would say, you know, I'd always be, well, the universe, the universe. And, you know, she'd think I was so stupid. But the things that I would see and think would always be discounted. Her truth was the only truth. And uh, so, you know, I had to go on my own path, my own journey, and look at my own stuff. And anything I would try and share, you know, laughed at and told I was stupid. Um, but in my journey, it was uh, first off, for sure, leaving the church, saying I don't agree. I, and I was doing that since the beginning. Like, I'd come home from Sunday school. And I'd be like, that doesn't mean... Like, I would argue about it. Because I always had them telling me. So, there was nothing that they could say in that place. It was... No. It was constantly I was being told that that was not right. That was not right. So, I um, left that. And went with, you know, my internal guidance. And had to fight against all of, you know, the people who... Would laugh at me and tell me I was crazy. So it's everything on your journey, wherever you're led. Like I was led towards reincarnation right off the bat. 
and I started reading all about reincarnation. And, um, and Shirley MacLaine was my my entryway, I think, into that whole thing. I don't, I don't remember. Just as soon as I heard reincarnation, it was like, oh, that's what, like, what are you guys talking about? This is what's real. And, um, but everybody just thought I was a wackadoo. Everybody thought I was a nut. But I wasn't going to go back off of it. I stayed on my journey. I stayed true to myself. When I had my kids, I got really into the near-death experience books because I started really worrying about, like, what happens when we die? Where do they go? And so I started reading all those kinds of books. And that gave me so much peace. Like, I, I don't ever question it. When you have that many people have the same fucking thing happen. Like, come on. The same thing happen over and over and over. And then, um, and then plus I've left my body. Like, I had so many things to lead me on my journey. But that is the journey. That is your spiritual journey. It's your journey to your truth. I don't know what the fuck they're trying to tell you. What the fuck they're trying to tell you. Like, you know, buy, buy a bunch of beaded bracelets and wear some crystals and don't eat meat. And because as far as they're concerned, all of this stuff happening is they're ascending through the planets ascending them. So they are ignoring all the problems, keeping their vibration high, not paying any attention to what's going on in the world. And that the planet is ascending. And since they're keeping their vibration high, they're ascending with the planet. That's what they say. So it, it sounds a little like you you got a savior going. Like you don't have to do the work. Someone's doing it for you. Like, like I was going to say, I'm not sure what this, it's, it's so convoluted. It's not a spiritual journey. Your spiritual journey is dismissing everything that isn't your truth inside of you. And it is a process because you're breaking down paradigms. You're breaking down familial, you know, like uh, to say Jesus is not my savior in my family. I was like, uh you know, ridiculousness. My brother, and he did, but he went atheist. My dad, he always said he was agnostic. So we always had that. But my mom was so hardcore on other things. Our family was way out of balance. And, um, but my brother went with atheist. And then he went all hardcore. He went all into Satanist and devil worship, all sorts of shit. Like he wasn't doing devil worshiping, but he was definitely thought, you know, it's funny. And he, he was just, like, he would freak my mom out. <laughs> like, She's like, he's possessed or something. Um, but, you know, he was feeling out this other side because the other side is, especially if you were raised a long time ago, so controlling. I, I don't know what the church is like now. I think people are a lot more free at the church, you know, but back then, Jesus Christ. And so, um, you know, I think a lot of people broke free from this stuff, but me and my brother, so I would get lumped in kind of with him. Like I was some sort of devil worshiper too or something. I was like, no, I am about the universe. The universe is, no, no, no. I'm just a wackadoo person. There's the devil and then there's Jesus. You get, you get two choices. You can go with the devil or you can go with Jesus. It's like, you guys, I'm not making a choice out of your choices. There's I think you're wrong. <laughs> I'm going to go with what I feel. That's my journey. And that is where I'm going to go. And I trust myself. And that is your spiritual journey. It's you defining who you are against all the grain of everybody else. I mean, if you are what they are and you feel that you are in alignment with them, then more power to you. But if you don't, you have to be willing to go up against anyone and anything to speak your truth. Like, I fucking go against my mom. I'm not going to bend over and be like, okay, mom, whatever you say. No. It's like my dad, you know, he'd come in and try and manhandle me. I'd fucking get up and run and start kicking him. Like, I'm not going to do something just because my parents tell me. But that was just, you know, I just had, I don't know. My guides were inside of me. My guides were my parents. My guides were the ones who were giving me direction. They were giving me, you know, and I think even when my mom was um, 
because she had called me and talked. She she has carries so much guilt, so much guilt. My mom, I like that when when she goes down, I, I, she's got so much guilt and so much shit. Like fuck, there's many people like it, but it's not my decision. I'm not the one here to decide. You can be saved. You can be saved. No, everyone's gonna save themselves. But they're I can see people. There's some people who've got some some a lot of stuff to overcome when things turn. So I'm not gonna you know, shame anybody who raptures out because that's what it's going to be like. It's going to be all these people who are rapturing out are just leaving the game. And that's what that other lady was saying too. That is, it's the people who can't keep up with their vibration. They're leaving the game. And, and then these people who think like they're raising their vibration and holding on to it by ignoring things. No, you're not. You're not doing the work. This, the, the whole universe is offering you this stuff. So you do the work to really raise your vibration, to really let go of things, but you want to ignore everything. So there's going to be some humility. A lot of humility is going to be coming up with what's going to happen when this, when the tables turn. And so the, uh, but to me, you know, I feel fortunate. I just feel lucky, you know, when I, in 2020, when I started realizing the people, other people weren't living like me, it was very shocking. <laughs> like, I was just like, what? I, it, it was kind of, I was kind of seeing it at first because, um, because I would always say, well, they tell me, they tell me. And I don't know. Sometimes I think people say they, and maybe I just didn't ever say anything or the conversation went a different way or something. And, but I did notice when my daughter was here and I would say, well, they said, they say, and she's like, they, who, no, cause this was on the other house when we very first started living together. Oh yeah. Because I would always be like, they, they said this, they said that. And I would do this to my mom and stuff too. I mean, I've been doing this for a long time. And then, um, so she's like, they, who's they? And I said, you know, the people that talk. The people are talking in my head. The people are talking to me. The ones that tell me stuff. She's like, oh my God. This is, <laughs> oh my God, mother. There's no one talking to you. There's no one talking in your head. That's your thoughts. Oh my God. <laughs> I'm like, okay, so then how do they tell me things I don't know? Oh my God. They're your thoughts. And, and we had that argument so many times, even here. She even tried to get in on a video. She made a video and it was, she was always trying to get me on video doing things. And then all of a sudden one day, I think she was putting out that video to kind of try to make fun of me or something. I'm like, God, you think you got, cause it was a video about you have, your mom's a Karen, but mine's a whatever. And mine, and I was a Kelly. And so uh, your mom's a Karen, but mine's a Kelly. And then she's all these little video snaps of me doing stuff, like crawl, doing all this weird shit, you know, but I'm just like that. And I mean, it's just too hard. So she was showing who I was, but I, I feel like that her attitude towards me was kind of like, you know, to just show how, you know, like, God, look what I have to deal with this kooky woman. <laughs> you think you got a problem. And, um, but the reaction came back. I, she got flooded with people who just were like going crazy for me. Everybody went, you know, it really it turned a whole thing. Like if you weren't following me when this was going on, oh my God, it turned a whole fucking thing in my family again. Like, fuck, it's so weird to be surrounded by people that just don't really like you, don't really respect you, don't really, you know, they don't really see what you have to offer, you know? And, um, so the, um, that was, what was I saying? So when, oh, okay. So yeah, when, so when 2020 happened and then I started, I don't know how it was where all the pieces start going together though. When I started understanding that people were under mind control and what this place was and then Man, I, I just can't even tell you how lucky I feel that I didn't get sucked in like that. That I have been able to go through life with these guides. That I, I mean, fuck. Because I was doing this stuff that people are trying to do right now when they're 40, 50, 30. 
I did it a long time ago. I've been living this way a long time. I did it way back in my 20s. I just stood up to my mom and dad way long time ago. I um, stood up for what I believed and I didn't back down. And I don't sit there and have a fit. I don't cut people out of my lives. I don't scream and yell. I don't have a fit about it. I just go about my business and, you know, and just know, like, if I say anything, it's like, well, that's your beliefs. That's what you think. There's a lot of people out there think a lot of different things. It's like, yeah, and I find it so curious. I do find it so curious. And I go and I listen to a lot of different people say a lot of different things. And I'll tell you the things that I line up with, the things that, you know, sink in with my knowing, not all those people do. There's a lot of people out there saying stuff that I'm not in alignment with. But that's, you know, I don't know. I mean, I could be a, from a different part of the universe. I could have different understandings about things. I could be, so I can't say that they're wrong or whatever. Everybody is their own existence. You are your own reality. You are your own universe. It's whatever you think. It's whatever you believe is the truth. And, and if, it, if it has to do with other people, then you got to wait and see. You know, what? It, what is the truth? I'm waiting on some truth, I'll tell you what. And uh, uh, so, um, but anyways, it is, uh, but that is the spiritual growth. And, and, and then to me, it was just natural to just start working with them to see how they work. Like, that's where I started seeing, like, if you go out and you're judgmental of something, you bet your ass you're going to go through that experience. And I don't know, maybe that was just my thing. Maybe I was one of the people who just got to come in and have instant karma because I was having that throughout my whole life. I, if I judge something, then right away I would be in the experience all the time. So I would always see like, oh, God, no. I would always be like, oh, I don't want to judge anybody. Oh, I don't want to move. I don't want to experience that. I was having that all the time. And um, there was just a lot of things that I just started get in like when you focus on the universe like if you focus on anything you're going to start understanding it more you're going to start seeing it better if you're trying to see it through someone else's eyes it's always going to be confusing it's always going to be a distortion you have to come into your own your own vision your own truth and that is and you have all these people who are so dependent, have no idea that they even have a soul. They think people are just out walking around that don't even have a soul. I don't even understand what these people even think this place is. Like, it's, it's, it's just weird. Uh, but uh, the universe is making itself be shown. It's, it's going. Like, uh, in different people's lives, the synchronicities and the stuff happening for people. And then uh, all this action is all leading is to your truth. And it's just so weird because so many people want the truth, but they just don't know. But you're going to have a truth that is your truth that you're going to have to see. That's going to be the overriding truth of all things is your own truth. Whatever you were sure of. And then when things switch and you see that that wasn't what you thought it was. So then it, there's a whole thing in there to work through that and so there's gonna be just like you know, there's gonna be so much about you just wait and see it's gonna be so much and it's got to be so close look and trump there's some videos that keep coming up and i keep thinking this has got to be somebody's making these because they keep bringing all this deep fake shit up he wouldn't have a joke come out and talk about deep fake that is just uh, the irony the humor so you got to see the humor in some of this and um but there keeps being these videos of Trump that seemed like this has got to be a deep fake. He, he, it doesn't even seem like it's him. He doesn't, I mean, he does have an attitude on some of this stuff, but I don't know. Um, yeah, I just I have a hard time thinking that this is really him and these videos keep popping up. So, I, but I think that is to keep, just keep us, it, it's kind of like the more that they destabilize this, the more it should push you inside. So the more that things fall apart out here should push you more inside. This inside is where you find your truth. You know, like where I can look over at that video and be like, you know, somebody else could be like, oh my God, I can't believe you said that and all that stuff. And I'm looking at it like, that just doesn't seem real. There's just the whole thing looks weird. 
his attitude, the whole thing. And there's so many of these. And so then I was like, I think uh, that is a part of just coming into connection with your soul. Where you see things that the you'll see things on another level, and you don't get caught up in the drama as much. Like there's so much drama to me going on with some of these people that is all it's unreal. It's like they've got this drama all created on something that's not even real. It's just it's weird, man. I, I, I don't know. I, this is, every time I keep looking in things, it keeps kind of being overwhelming. Because uh, it's just... I, I just don't get... I don't get how people see. Like, because they want to sit there and say other people are NPCs, but I see, like, you are cut off. You're cut off from your soul. You're not listening. Because once you once your soul wakes up, it's a whole other thing. And then this, the universe and the spiritual side of life is a whole other thing. And it doesn't just go to, naturally. It's not just automatically that you're spiritual and all of a sudden you just know how the universe works. No. It's like, it's like becoming spiritual is like, I want to get in shape. I want to go to the gym now. And so you go into the gym and it's going to be a whole new place and you got to learn how to use the equipment. And what do you do? And how long does it take for me to get to this? And how long do I, you know, it, it's a whole thing. You're going into your spiritual workout. It's, and, and, and I'm just mind blown by these people who keep thinking that the ascension is, is happening naturally for them. All they have to do is ignore everything, focus on uh, light or high vibration, but the universe is, I think, kicking a lot of those people down. I think it's making a lot of people have to face, like, you can't just sit here and ignore things and keep your vibration up. No, you have to face some shit. And that's how you grow. Oh my God. <laughs> so weird. And so, um, so, uh, but, you know, I, I have seen so many of these ones, like, uh, your ascension symptoms, so your ascension symptoms are because your body is just naturally ascending. You don't have to do anything. Just sit back and enjoy the ride. Well, except for you're sick. And, but all of them just keep being, there's like a certain group of people who are like me, who are about, you know, do the work and letting go of your past, letting go of who you were and stuff. So there is some people like me, which gives me confidence in saying that I know that that's what you got to do. <laughs> I feel certain of it. And it's very much in alignment with me. And plus it was what my guides were leading me through before all this shit started. I was already doing this. I was already going through this before everybody else joined in. Mine had already started. So I've already been being led through all of this. And so, you know, I don't know. I don't know how it's going to work out with these people who are just sitting back and thinking that they're the super spirits and they're going to be here to, you know, run the new age when they don't even, they haven't learned or grew. Because that is the ascension. The ascension is you learning and growing. That's your evolution. That is you evolving, changing yourself, taking what was broken and making it new and clean. That's the ascension, the evolution. So how is the universe doing that for you? Like, the way I see it doing it for you is this energy comes in to bring, well, it brings certain people to you. It brings certain information to you. It brings certain experiences to you to help you grow. But so many people get in the experience and just want to blame everybody else for how they feel. And so they don't grow. So where, where, where is this evolution occurring for these people? How, I mean, you got, that's, that's what it is. And, and then once you are working on yourself and evolving yourself, ascending to higher realms because you are letting go of things and healing, that is the creation of the new age. It's all the people who did that. So these people are sitting there saying, don't do that. It's like, okay, well, I don't, I don't know yet, and I probably never will. <laughs> so, see ya. I don't know. <laughs> like, it's weird because you, 
You can't. You, you, you. <sighs> I don't know. I don't know. So, anyways, I, I say any of the stuff coming up, you know, focus on your work, focus on you, and don't get down because you think like, oh, well, my vibration is low right now. No, you got to let your vibration go low. How can your vibration release if it's high? You got to let it go low to let go. So let your vibration, you remember, you're steering. You're steering through life. Let your vibration fluctuate. You know, it will go back to your top. Your top might, ah, I mean, if we were just going to be comparing, like, if, if, like I don't know for sure because I don't know these people. I don't, you know, we don't know our own vibration. We don't even know for sure where we are. We, there's a lot of things we don't know yet that we think and we feel and we're drawn to and all that. But, you know, I think there's going to be more clarity. Uh, but I think that the... Um, <sighs> um, the people okay so if you just take the the comparison of the vibration so they try and get their vibration high by just focusing on love and light and then not interacting with anybody who makes them feel anything that isn't love and light so you have you I don't know what they talk about or what they do. Maybe they, they just maybe they're all doing uh, micro dosing or something because a lot of them are really into all that stuff. They're really into ayahuasca. I mean, there's people who go fucking gone and done like goddamn nine or ten ayahuasca. I've never done. I have no desire to do it. I've gone and done like nine or ten. Oh, damn, just doing mushrooms is intense to me. I don't ever even want to do those again. It's like, I've already done, you know, and I didn't. Uh, but I already was aware of spiritual stuff. So, like, my, my thing was different doing it. These people just all of a sudden became aware of spiritual stuff doing it. Like, there's more to life? You know, so that opened them up to something that they want to keep re-experiencing because they keep going and doing it again. So it opens up this side of themselves that they didn't know about. But then they want to keep their vibration up here and not and not um, heal anything. So so going through this stuff, so if you took that the group of people over here who just want to focus on love and not heal, and then you take the people over here who are fluctuating. They're dealing with the problems. They're dealing with family crises. They're dealing with death. They're dealing with loss. They're just, you know, just going through it. And have to keep on maneuvering through it. And, you know, take time to rest and regroup and cry it out and process, you know. They're growing. They're evolving. And they are raising their vibration. I mean, their right vibration is really raising so even when they drop down to go through something, they bounce back to their higher state because it's, it's real. They really have raised it. These other people, like, they're not really truly raising it. And so theirs is way, way lower. Like, it all is dependent on in, in the things that you deal with. And so some of those super spirits, they won't deal with anything. And some probably, I'm sure, because there's all things playing out. So it's going to be all gradation of all things. It's every bit of gray in the spectrum that's going to be played out. So the, um, but the, the, your vibration will stay down. Like, that's why they get so mad. Like, you go in and say something and their vibration goes right down as soon as someone talks to them. It's because you haven't healed any of your stuff. Your vibration is down. You keep trying to think if I focus on high, I focus on light, if I focus on love, that that raises my vibration. But it doesn't. You have to raise your vibration by healing your wounds, and that creates the love. So it's like they want to skip parts, and, and you know, it's like they want to control it. So many people want to control the universe. That's what I was going to say earlier. Is these people, these people who are coming out now, these spiritual people who, uh, well, they're just going to do it. They're not going to wait for the universe to do this. They're not going to do that. They're, no, they are going to do this. Like, that is the opposite of spirituality. 
the exact opposite spirituality you get in sync in harmony you get in sync with the universe you start trying to realize how they work what do they do how do they work how do i get in with them then you start maneuvering through life with, with them at your side so it's it's, it's it's way different and um i don't know it's just way different and the, these people are just cutting off this whole thing and I mean if you if you think that you need to live this life and ignore the universe but call yourself spiritual and they you're you're just that's 3d living that's living in the game you're just living in the game you you're trying to control things as a game player because the universe it, it's just way different like i don't even know if i'm making any sense like because some of the stuff i see it's just like so hard to explain and it's just so weird when you feel like you're explaining so many things you just don't know like where people are at like do they get it like hopefully i think like when i'm talking to you guys you guys are on a different spiritual journey or you wouldn't listen to me you um really do understand you know you got to do the work you really are creating a change for yourself you really are evolving and so you are doing your work i think or you wouldn't come in and listen to me as um and i don't know what those other people say but you know it's definitely these mindsets and there's i think there's a lot of people who are anti-liberals, anti-progressive people, but then they don't realize, well, that's that whole crew. That's who those people are. You know, they are the tarot readers. They are the witches. They are the uh, all these people who claim spirituality now. And I don't even know what the witches, you know, I'm sure it's all levels too. I'm sure some are more in sync with the universe, but there's so many, it's just like, override the universe control the energy and stuff like that it's like oh man fuck it, it, it is overwhelming sometimes to just it's like too many cooks in the kitchen and you, you, you wonder why the zipper keeps getting hung up it's like fuck but this is the purging out this is the purging out of the energy that can't get with the program you either get with the program and move forward or you don't get with the program and you stay behind. But behind will be another reality. It'll be another experience. Not experiences I'm going to go through. <laughs> like if you didn't learn it this time and all this shit went down, like, oh my God, what do you got to go through next? Like, I don't know. And I don't know how many of these people come out of their body. And remember, I don't know how many of them are super high vibe and they're just playing this really shitty part. You know, but it seems like they're locked in. Like they really believe the part they're playing. Like they're not just playing a part, that they've become the part. So I don't know. I mean, there's going to be, and, and it seems kind of like they're going to drag this money thing out over the, all this week and next week. But on purpose, they're doing it on purpose. It is like what I was saying. It's kind of to just get people to pay attention that people are so fucking in their ego and arrogance. Oh, I'm glad I saw my bank. <laughs> but then it just comes right up and it's going to be knocking at your door soon too. So it's going to keep going like that. And um, and then what did I say too about that judge that was going against Trump? I said, well, definitely we're going to hear some shit on that guy. You can just see it coming. You can just see it. Like, you got to see what Trump is, what the part is he's playing. He's he's bringing this he's bringing this purge of this energy out he's exposing so much darkness and um and he's being the the catalyst he's being the 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 punching bag and um but so that judge the, the one that was going against him and so smug and taking um smiles for the pictures and stuff now it's all coming out on his perv stuff and he's pretty much like that anthony weiner i don't know these guys like i don't know who are these girls some kind of social climber girls who want naked pictures of these gross old fucking 
politicians and judges and shit. Like, I don't know. Same thing as like fucking, uh, what's his name? I just said yesterday. Al Pacino. I used to like Al Pacino too. I used to like Robert De Niro. Now I can't even fucking stand him. I swear to God. The movie comes on and it just turns my stomach. And I heard a long while ago, um, uh, some weird stuff about him, like way back in the eighties and stuff. Like there was some, uh, sex charges and stuff. Now I just see it kind of as like, oh, he was getting away with shit all the way back then. He's just gotten worse. Like, I think he's, uh, just the way he's come out against, uh, Trump and stuff like that. Those people who come out so hard, they got something to hide. They don't want it exposed. But although there was the one person who was going out hard, but I think that was for something else because now everybody's saying, you know, he's the guy in the mask, the mask, the mask is in the mask. And he's the one out there and which he keeps doing funny things. If it's him, whoever it is, keeps doing funny things. Like, you know, it is the perfect choice to make a guy look a fool. He's get out there and have this guy do it because um, he's, he's good at it and it's funny. And uh, <laughs> the other day, Joe just walks off the stage, just out there bumbling around, just turn and look at the wall. Just doesn't know where he's at. He does have like, um, he does do some kind of gym kind of looks around. We're standing out there just looking and kind of like on that one where he came out on one of those talk shows and um, he was standing out there and everybody's clapping and clapping and he just keeps standing there staring and looking at everybody not doing or saying anything and then jimmy starts getting uncomfortable and start asking him um what are you doing what are you doing he's like i just want to see how long it takes him to stop and but the way he's looking it reminded me of how joe was sitting there just looking with this um you know dumb grin on his face like i, I don't know uh, you know maybe it it seems like fuck. it does seem like it's him a lot of times you know, and I know a lot of people think that, so we'll see. But when he was putting all that hate out, it's like, I kind of feel like it was so hateful. Like it was, um, oh, like there's a part where they want people who go into that hate to catch themselves. Like it's got to go so dark that you're like, oh God, that's gross. You know, you know, I definitely, because I'm, when he was doing it at first, I was definitely a Trump hater. And I was all like, yeah, fuck you. You know, where everybody like his things. And he'd put all these pictures, you know, representing the fucking nonsense. And, but then, um, then things start changing for me. And he kept doing it. And I kept thinking it must be um, something on purpose. Especially when it stopped with Joe. Like, no way. There's way too much. Oh, fuck no. Like, that's just way suspicious to me. But De Niro, that's different. Like, there's some other people who come out and say stuff. And, um, I, I don't know. I just really feel like De Niro's got something to hide. But, and, and so kind of like all those guys back then. Dustin Hoffman, Gene Hackman. Like, there's a bunch of them. It's like, fuck. Like, you know, guys that we, I grew up watching. And so, I don't know. I mean, because I also grew up with Jimmy Stewart and Gregory Peck and those guys. Like, I, I always liked those guys. And it's like, fuck, I don't know. I don't even know what the hell they were doing. I don't think it was as nasty back then. I mean, they had the couch, the the couch thing for the girls. But I don't, fuck, who knows, like, what the hell was going on. Um, but then all these guys... And then that, that other generation that came out, and they were all, like, sleeping with all those girls. Like, there's so much of that. Like, like where I said, where it seems like Mia Kun Mila Kunis was just, like, a pass around or something when she was a kid. It was like, everybody get a piece of that action. Like, oh, yeah, I was a boyfriend, girlfriend with her. Like, a new starlet comes in who's young, and they just pass her around or something. Like, the group of guys. So, I don't know. But I, I definitely heard Robert De Niro. There was stories about him as very young, like 16-year-olds and stuff. And then supposedly had a thing for dark skin. And he was going with really dark-skinned young girls. And then it's like, now you know so much about that stuff. It's like, fuck, man, I don't know. 
but Al Pacino, so I kind of just lump him in there with him, even though I used to really like Al Pacino, but I don't really know what his deal is, but he shows his true character. If you're fucking married to this 26-year-old or just knocked her up or whatever the hell it is, it's like, dude, you're 88 years old. You don't see a problem with that? You don't sit there and think like, maybe I'm a pervert? Like, I want to go have sex with somebody who's 60 years younger than me? Like, gross. I Just gross. Like, seriously. And then, uh, I mean, I, I'm i like with that black girl. Like, what in the world is wrong with these young girls? Like, fuck, man. Just do whatever for money. Like, you, I, I don't know. There's way too much money worship here. Way too much money worship. Like, all this money thing has to blow up. Like, it's, it's going to be a, a long time coming. But you know, this is going to really show some people. But it's going to bring up a lot of dark. Because a lot of this whole thing about the money being so fake. And what people were willing to do for it. And how they fucked people over for it. Who they screwed for it. Like, all of it. So, there's a lot of... There's a lot of nastiness that people are going to feel about themselves. In that, you know, that facing yourself. There's a lot of nastiness that's going to be getting purged out. So, just keep that in mind. When you see people who are really distraught and crying and falling apart, it's going to be real. It's going to be, there's going to be a lot of real shit that's going to happen when things turn. Like, everybody's just waiting like, oh, can't wait, can't wait. We're going to have all this money. We're going to have all these great things are going to happen. But when all that goes, it's going, is it the energy it's like this total flip. And, and so it's, I'm telling you, it's like everybody's been living in the dark. But then the light is going to expose everything to themselves. So it's like a lot of stuff. And it's already happening to people. But don't forget, you always are, you're, you're learning and growing certain things to prepare you for the next one. Like there's certain things, like you couldn't jump way ahead and do those ones you have to prepare you have to heal these ones to get yourself ready for the next one so everything's always getting you ready for the next one but then after a while i'm telling you it just becomes like you just start bouncing through it you just start going it's like a, a harmony it's like you start gliding it, it just it, and when things when you hit into roadblocks or bumps or something you stop and you think like okay so this is here for a reason now let's think about why is it here? What is supposed to go on here? What am I supposed to be doing? And always recognize that you are here to learn, to grow, to evolve. That's why you're here. So trying to hide from your growth or, or even just focus on someone else's, you know, to keep thinking confirmation. If, if um, my mom would change, if I could just get my mom, if she would just stop being a Christian, if I could just point this out and just get her to change, which I'm probably more like that with my kids because I send them stuff all the time. Like if I could just get them to see, they would just wake up. But then it's like, they, they aren't. They're going to wake up when they're supposed to wake up. But I have sent stuff to uh, hopefully that will help them to see things when they do. But you can't sit here and think like I can't sit here and think well I could feel better you know if my mom didn't judge me if my mom didn't think this if my mom didn't think that so if I can get her to stop doing that then I'll feel better that's backwards there's nothing you can do to get another person to feel better to make you feel better the only way to make you feel better is to go inside figure out what bothers you figure out what you don't like about yourself and then fix it change it make differences and then there's a whole thing about releasing you know you got to go through the whole process of like how did I get here and you know there's definitely a whole thing about feeling like you're a product of your environment and because I know that's what my daughter is doing you know she thinks I'm the bane of her existence I'm her all the problems if she didn't have me as a mom she would have been a perfect person and um you know but it's, it's just part of the process. Like, I went through it when I was young. I thought everything was wrong with me. If I would have just had better parents, I would have been a better person. It's my parents' fault. You know, you just have to go through that part um, of the development to get to find your your truth. Because 
when you realize, like, oh, fuck, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter if my mom's broke, my dad's broke, every fucking person's broke, and the whole fucking thing. I can't fix any of them. I can't do anything. Only thing I can do is make myself feel better for where I'm at and what I'm doing in this world. And then the more you start doing that, the more your your vibration does change and you start bringing in more positive things, whether if it's more positive people, if it's more positive experiences, just a more positive attitude, you'll just see. Things will just go in a different direction. I think it's a difference between harmony and fighting the universe. And there's just so many of these people they just feel like that's that's just stupid to just let the universe do it like to think that the universe is doing stuff for you that's just that's just stupid it works for me and i know i'm not the only one so everybody gets to make their own choices and your choices that you make you will feel them when things switch i know i've said it about a zillion times but i don't think people really understand what this pole shift is really going to feel like is going to feel like I think for a lot of people it's going to feel like you're naked in an orgy at a party and everybody's naked and you think you're having a great time and you're just doing all sorts of wild shit and then the light's going to come on and you're going to see like it was really gross everything was gross the people were gross you were gross everything was gross and then how do you feel when the lights come on and you just, all you can see is gross? Like, I think everybody has known what that feels like when you feel consumed by your own grossness. So, yeah, it's going to be rough. And it's, it's just right around the corner. I mean, it could happen any time. It could happen today. I think it seems, it, it, you know, it's us doing it. It's, it seems like it's kind of going at a certain rate. You know, we're going to slowly roll the banks down. We're going to make a big drama on the government. Even the, you know, the whole voting thing. I just can't even believe there's people out there. But there's people who think, like, it's all on the up and up. <laughs> but they don't pay attention. And they've got biases. And they don't believe what people say because they don't like certain people. So, anyways. Um, okay. Yeah, I've been talking for way longer. So, let me think if there was anything else. Hopefully I'm saying stuff that, you know, helps and makes sense. Sometimes I feel like I'm I'm, ta I'm speaking to the people who I see on TikTok who say things, but then you guys get to hear it. So hopefully, it, you know, it helps you guys to see. It just, you know, it's just weird. But definitely don't get all caught up in just being called spiritual and getting crystals and stuff and thinking that the earth is ascending you just because... I, just because you have a bunch of pains and stuff like I see people talking real serious about it you know with the light bodies and stuff but to me the light body thing is about through the, this process you start realizing like oh I'm not even real that's not even real that's not even flesh and blood that was a fake so to me it's all part of the process to get into like oh I'm a light I'm just you just start focusing more on your spirit so you are become more of your light body. Like, whereas when I very first started talking about this and it was all mind, body, spirit, and eat right. And so now I'm in a whole nother place on that. Now I'm on a whole. And when I started this in the beginning, I said, you know, it was going to be like that. I said, it's going to be going through things. And it's whatever I feel right now, right here. That's how I feel right now, right here. That doesn't mean I'm going to feel like that tomorrow or the next day. So many people, they want to hold you back. Well, you said this. You said this. Last week, you said this. No, we're in movement. We're in flow. Now, yeah, my bi mind, body, spirit is a different. Like, I still see it as mind, body, spirit. But I don't see my body in the same way as I did. Now, I see it much more as a manipulation of control and consumerism and what we need and what our body needs and we need food and we need this and we need that now it's just like i see it way different now i'm way more in the whole time the brethren people were coming into my mind always so there was always this group of people who were living off of energy who live they don't eat i don't even know if they drink like 
uh, I don't, and I don't know how many people there are. I don't know all the things about their health. I don't know all the things, but anything about your health and your struggle is all in here too. Like you can make yourself sick. You can sit there and convince yourself, well, if I don't eat, I'm going to get sick. I just know if I don't eat, I'm going to get sick. So I don't just go do that. I listen to my body. So my body says, go eat. I go eat. I don't say shame on you, body. You know, you're not allowed to eat. My body still wants to eat. I'm going to feed it. But I still have that is my view of how I'm looking at things and how I'm processing. So I'm moving in that direction. To me, that is the movement towards our light body is letting go of what we thought before. So these people who just think all oh, this is just happening, well, fuck, it's a lot of goddamn work. The universe is doing all this for you and you're not doing shit. You're just sitting there telling people that they're low vibration and telling people what they need to do. Because to me, I've been working and working and working on this shit. And it's work. And so, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see how it all plays out. But I think it's, you know, I mean, every day that something doesn't happen just gets us closer to the day it's going to happen. So, Today could be the day. Tomorrow could be the day. Anything could happen. Fucking the sky could open and ships start flying in. And fucking aliens could start falling out of the sky. I don't know. Something, something crazy and magical is going to happen. But there's also going to be a lot more brutal violence and stuff. Because all that still has to be purged out. And still so many people carry it. There's, you just watch and see. Because there's going to be a huge purge of it when this shit turns. That's going to be the biggest purge of anger and darkness when th things turn and light comes on. Then everybody's going to see the darkness. It's just a lot of people will be ashamed and don't want other people to see their darkness and they'll try and hide. There will be a lot of suicide and stuff. So, uh, But the ones who suicide out, don't forget that they can't suicide out unless that was always how they were leaving. You can't leave unless it's the way you were going to leave. You can't just come up with a new way like, well, you know, I'm going to die 10 years from now, but I'm just going to go ahead and kill myself right now. It won't work. <laughs> it's just impossible. You can only leave the way you're going to leave when you're going to leave. And so just keep that in mind. When people start doing themselves in right and left, that was always going to be their way out. They were always going to face themselves, not be happy, and choose that, that direction. And that's a whole nother thing, you know. So, it's it's all on vibration, man. I'm telling you, everything's on vibration. You don't, if you do yourself in and it's all on your vibration. Because your vibration can be way higher than what it is here. You can come out of your body and your vibration be way higher. And then you just are evaluating your game and how well you did and what you learned. Um... You know, I don't know that everybody here is trying to evolve out of hell. I think we've all left hell. We just go back in to play these fucking games. So, it, it, you know, because to me, this is hell. This is the low, low vibration. This is where all this horrible stuff can play out. Are you thinking the heavens that this bad stuff happens? No, this is this. And then when I even try and tell my mom, and, and what's weird too is like when I even tell my mom, this is hell, we're in hell. And she's like, no, no, hell is way worse than this. And it's like, okay, that's your attitude. Hell's way worse than this. And you just condemn everybody, even your own flesh and blood to the place, even though that bothers her. She doesn't want that. She wants us to hurry up and change and, you know, claim to Jesus' name. She even went through because she, she came that one day. Oh, yeah, because there was two things. Okay, so one of the days where she came back and she said, um, oh, you remember back, you got baptized, right? Because <laughs> she doesn't want me to go to hell. But, you know, a lot of those people think, oh, well, it's way worse than this. And everybody's going. Too bad for them. They should have said Jesus' name. <laughs> I was like, God, you guys. Well, wicked, are you? And, um, but what was the other one, too? She had said, she always say things <laughs> just like when you're real sad and it's that abortion pill. If I wouldn't have taken that abortion pill, you wouldn't have problems. <laughs> I didn't even know that mom thinks. Yeah. I was told when I was little I was a product of a rape. I was told I was a product of an abortion pill. Like <laughs> that's how I came in. Um, let's see. Let me think. Um uh, 
was something else that she had said that I wanted to say because it came into my head right there. <coughs> was it something with religion or, um, damn, just, I don't know. Sometimes when it goes out like that, it's like, okay, I'm not supposed to say it, I guess, because it just disappears and I can't see it at all. So, um, okay. I guess I think if there's anything else I was going to say. Just, you know, just keep working on you and just keep going back to yourself. Like everything, everything that you question out there, every person, every instant, everything you question, go back into yourself. Ask yourself the questions and then wait for the answers. You know, just keep going inside. Keep going inside. Even if you feel like, well, this is stupid. Nobody's talking to me. Keep doing it. Keep doing it. And you'll eventually hear them. Things will keep coming up. You'll see. It'll it'll work. I know it'll work. It's not just me. And I'm seeing way more people who are talking to their guides and stuff. So they're in there. I just know that a lot of dark energy will block it. And the dark energy tries to stay alive. And they will tell you things to keep you separate. So anyways, you know, everybody's on their own journey. Um, oh, fuck, I can't. I, I just get it all in my head. It's like, I can't save her, but I can't get everybody to see what I see. I can't get everybody to understand what I understand. It's just, you know, everybody's on their own journey. So anyways, I, uh, it's giving me a headache. I'm not smoking, so. <laughs> uh, so anyways, I'm going to go to 55515 five, five, my head right now, and I'll talk to you later. <laughs>